we're going to show you uh, microwave propagation. You will see the uh, wavefront curvature of the microwaves being emitted from one of the coffee can radar systems. So I've reconfigured the coffee can radar like this. You have a, um, an oscillator, in this case set to a, a CW frequency unmodulated, amplified as it is always split. One half of it is radiated out, the other half uh, is fed to the mixer, okay, where it is multiplied by what's being received. But what's being received, uh, the receiver antenna is not actually connected or co-located right next to the transmit antenna. In this case, the receive antenna is all the way over here, okay, and the receive antenna is free to move about on this long extension cable. Now, the product of what we're receiving by what we're transmitting is amplified by a modified version of the video op-amp circuit, fed through this resistor, and then out of, um, along the long cable for the receiver antenna. So next to the receiver antenna, we have uh, red and green LEDs, which are tied to this op-amp here. And what they show you is the red LED shows you uh, the positive half of the wave front, and, and the green LED shows you the negative half. And what I mean by that is if we can imagine the wave propagating outwards, if we place our receiver antenna right here, then the red LED would be on. If we place our receive antenna right here, then the green LED would be on. And again, if the receive antenna was there, the red LED, and so on and so forth. So the idea is if you move this assembly back and forth, you'll see the red and green lights turn on and off thereby visualizing the microwaves being radiated out of the uh, transmit antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, coffee can radar op amp and reconfigure it in this simple amplifier. Um, here, here this is just set up as a non-inverting amplifier. We connect the mixer output directly into the positive terminal of one of the four amplifiers. Uh, we use this 10K pod and this 200 ohm resistor to set the gain. 330 ohm resistor um, sets the uh, current for these two uh, LEDs. This LED is green, and this one is red. So when we're at a peak, we'll see the red. At a valley of the wave, we'll see the green. All right, so here we have the modified coffee can radar. Um, we removed one of the antennas, uh, the receive antenna, and the receiver is connected uh, to this long black cable, and here is the uh, receive antenna right here. You can see we have these two LEDs, um, green and red, taped to it, and here's our modified op amp circuit. I just took another op amp and another perf board and tied it in uh, to where the IF comes out. I'm not using any of the circuitry on here at the moment, uh, except for the 5 volt regulator coffee can radar with one can missing and this can radiating, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to have our uh, receiver can right here and we're going to shake it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And um, as you move it around, we'll start to see the pattern of the wave front. Now what's physically happening here is this can is radiating a spherical wave and as it gets further and further out becomes more and more straight. Okay, And we expect to see this pattern as we um, shake our receive can back and forth and we take a, um, a long exposure image. And what that image is going to look like is we're going to see red lines like this for the red LEDs and then we're going to see green ones for the green LEDs. Okay. And so the red LEDs are the peaks, the greens are the valleys. If we take a cross section of this, what you're going to see is you're going to see that, except the valleys are green, just so that we know what we're looking at. Here we have a coffee can radar with the modified can that has the lights on top of it. As you can see, as we move back 
we can see the red and the green, the red, green, red, green. They're alternating based on the physical length of the wavelength, which is at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So you can see the red, red, a peak, valley, peak, valley, peak, valley, peak, valley, peak, valley. And if we go back and forth, we can see them blinking. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle this can back and forth as fast as I can over a long exposure time. And with that image, you'll actually see the wavefront being radiated from this coffee can. Looking at this image, we can actually see the physical wavefront radiating out from the uh, coffee can. That shows you that electromagnetic um, waves are an actual physical thing that we can wrap our, our, our arms around and play with. We actually were able to show you the waves propagating in free space in my basement laboratory. So uh, I hope to see other people trying experiments like this.